Uber Eats scams. Have you encountered a scam while being an Uber Eats driver? Whether it be uh, the customer trying to do some slick so uh, they can get their food for free or just missing out on a certain money that you should have been paid. Well, that's what we're going to talk about here today. I'm going to give you three commonly known Uber Eats scams that you should be looking to avoid. I'm also going to share exactly how you can avoid getting scammed so that you can get compensated for your hard work as a driver. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three Uber Eats scams that result in you either losing some of your money or potentially maybe even getting deactivated in a worst case scenario. And we don't want either of those to happen. So it's aware, it's, it's very key that you're aware of these scams and that you know how to avoid these scams if you find yourself in these situations. So let's get into it. So the first type of scam, uh, some of us may already know very well. And for those of y'all that have never used Uber Eats as a customer before, this is a screenshot of the customer app. And as you see, it has a time guarantee. Like it, you'll get the food between this amount of time. And if Uber Eats can't guarantee you'll get the food within a certain time, then you can't order from that restaurant because you're out of range. Okay. And uh, some customers, well, first let's start off with the legitimate case. Some customers may legitimately forget to update their address. So when you're on your way to the restaurant or maybe even afterwards, they'll contact you and you know, hey, uh, I wasn't, I didn't put the right address in, I put my work address or whatever. And other times, it's some people actually trying to game the system because there might be a restaurant that's six miles away, but they can't get the food delivered there. So they'll put their work address that's two miles away from their, uh, lo from the restaurant. And once that happens, then they can just order and then get in contact with you saying that, hey, I put the wrong address, bring it to this address. One is a scam and one is a legitimate accident. But in both case scenarios, uh, Uber got tired of dealing with this. So they actually rewrote in their policy that they're not going to deliver food out of range of that particular restaurant. And it gives you as a driver some options. The reason this was a problem before is because you could drive 10 miles away at the new location but you only get paid for those two miles because that's the address that was entered into uber and you know they might say they'll tip you extra but we know how that goes swinging back to uber's policy they now state that if it's not within the delivery range then uh they're not going to do it and for you as a driver uber will compensate you based on the current address that's in the system so if it's like a mile and a half away you're going to get payment based on that mile and a half now let's say the restaurant is within range. It just may be a few miles further. You didn't have a choice. You can either go ahead and complete the delivery and Uber will reimburse you an amount. Right now that amount is $4 for your extra time and extra mileage. Or you can choose not to do it. And I've done this on several occasions. If uh, order's taking me out of my city or it would take me out of my city, I just say, uh, no thanks, I don't wanna do it. And Uber Eats will cancel the order and you'll get paid for the distance to the original addresses in the system. So to wrap this up, for this particular scam, in both cases, you wanna go ahead and contact Uber Eats support and let them know what you wanna do. If it's within range, you have the option to take it to the new address and get an extra four bucks, or say no and have them cancel the delivery and you just move on to your next one, receiving payment for what's already in the system. I'm not gonna say which one is right or wrong, it really depends on the situation, but now you know that that's an option. The second scam that's been going around on Uber Eats and can uh, kind of bite you in the butt as a driver is uh, customers have been reporting that they haven't been getting their food. And this is a casualty due to this new system that's been brought about because of the pandemic. So uh, Uber Eats has had the contact list deliveries for a little while now. This results in you just leaving the food at the front door or wherever the customer says. And uh, strangely enough, Uber has this option when this happens to take a, well, they have the option to take a picture, but they also have an option to skip taking a picture, which is a little weird. I don't know why it wouldn't just strictly be required, but some drivers are skipping taking a picture and I'm a Uber East customer, so I can attest to this. About like 60% of drivers actually take the picture and then it, uh, the copy of the receipt on my end shows that they took the picture as proof, but 40% don't. 
And some customers are using that to try and get free food or a discount on the next order. They say, oh, I never received the food. And Uber's gonna look at that picture. And if there's no picture, you're kind of building a case against yourself. So don't skip out on taking that picture. I don't know why anyone would want to skip it in the first place. It takes the extra maybe 10 to 15 seconds, but see it as an insurance policy against customers that are trying to scam, get free food or a discount, because we know there are some people out there that will try and do that kind of thing. And the last one, or the third one, it's not so much a scam, but a lot of new drivers and even uh, intermediate drivers may not actually know about this. But let's say you're driving, you get a ping to go to a restaurant, you get there and it's closed. Has that ever happened to you? Well, it's happened to me a few times and it can be kind of annoying. But what most people don't know is most people will just cancel and they cancel and they just move on to the next order, but they wasted 10, 15 minutes driving to the restaurant. Uber will actually uh, reimburse you about $3 just for driving to the restaurant. That amount, that amount may change over time, but the point is they're gonna give you something for going to the restaurant. And a lot of drivers don't know that. They just say, oh, and then they just cut their losses and cancel. No, contact Uber support, let them know the restaurant is closed. And usually it's closed for some uh, strange reason. Like they're supposed to be open, but they're not. You called and you know nothing happens. So what Uber's gonna do is they're gonna call to verify with the restaurant. If they can't get them, or if the restaurant says we're not taking orders or whatever, then they're gonna cancel the order on their end and they're gonna reimburse you a certain amount of money. Right now it's $3. And that usually appears between instantly and an hour. So sometimes it might not appear like, like that, but it is going to appear. So that can make the difference between like $11 an hour and $14 an hour. The reason I say that is you spent that time going to that restaurant, you kind of have to take that loss and move on to the next delivery or two. You might be able to slide two deliveries and let's say they uh, paid uh, $4 each, they're short deliveries. And Throughout tips, you made about $11. Well, that extra $3 has boosted you up to $14. Same goes for if you made like $13 or $14 with those two deliveries, including tips. Well, now it's boosted you up to $7 to $17. So that's why you want to know that little trick, just in case you come up on that situation where the restaurant is closed. And there we have it. We have uh, three scams. Well, really two, but the third one is something you should be aware of. But these are instances where... Money is on the table, and uh, oftentimes you end up losing money because of the circumstances. Or with the case in the second one, if uh, Uber thinks you really are stealing food, that's building the case for you to get deactivated. So be sure to protect yourself from losing money or deactivations by dealing with these situations accordingly. But that does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if there's any other Uber Eats uh, scams that you've heard of, put that in the comments below too. I mean, uh, share with the community. Think of it as a community service. We're helping each other out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. As well, subscribe if you're new. We publish new videos every single week. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave us an email or as always, leave it in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Be safe and profitable, everyone.